Hey YouTube or whatever website I'm going to upload this video to. This is going to be my first unboxing video of a laptop which I just bought. It is the, well the box says Aspire V15. I actually bought the Acer Aspire V3 572P. So I don't know why it says V15 on it. Um, when the bill says that it was the V3 I got. Oh well. Oh, look and find out. Hopefully this is the right laptop, which I already picked out for myself. So, this is a touchscreen laptop. 15.6 inches, which you're going to see soon. So let's see. Comes with some is this either a warranty or some instruction manual I'm not quite sure yet so yeah, the laptop is much smaller than the box all right so we got all right let's look at the lap no get the so we get a power cable for charging it and the other half of the power cable and the adapter and there's also some sort of instruction manual all right so, so the device itself Oh yeah, this is the battery for the laptop. So. Here it is. Black plastic on the bottom and nice silvery color of the shiny Acer logo on the front. So. Have a look. Ooh. Oh, the screen looks quite nice. So, it's got a really great keyboard. I already tried it out in several computer stores. It has a rather large enter button, which I already leave my eyes on, as I often have trouble pressing the enter key when I type a lot in certain situations it's got let's look at its specs it's got a seven hour battery life we'll see how true that is and how and what I need to conserve with to get battery life close to that value Got. Precision touchpad, so supposedly there are it supports several touchpad gestures. Although I really dislike using the touchpad, I've never been able to get used to using one in my life. I'm probably just going to use the mouse. It's got up to two times faster wireless. Uh, why? Supposedly, looking at the image, it seems like it has two Wi-Fi receivers or something. And it's got eight gigabytes of RAM, which I am going to need if I'm for several things that I'm going to use it for, uh, like programming. And then. It's also got Intel HD graphics 4400 up to 1792 megabytes dynamic video memory, which sounds alright, but 
Oh, video cards and laptops haven't seemed to have been too performant from what I've experienced so far, but we'll see how this works. It's only League of Le League of Legends is the only game I play with, so if that can run well, then I am happy for that. Oh yeah, its processor is an Intel Core i5 4210U. 1.7 gigahertz with turbo boost up to 2.7 gigahertz. I don't know what this turbo boost is. I've not heard of that. Uh, oh yeah, here it shows that it's a V3 model. So, yeah, that's what I was expecting. Oh yeah, the monitor is touchscreen. Uh, I didn't... wasn't... I didn't... didn't really need one I just noticed that there were many laptops that were offering this feature and uh, this idea was kind of interesting to me and I wanted to try out one of them I especially like the idea of since I don't like touchpads uh, because it's takes a long time for me to move the cursor from point A to point B, but if I have the entire screen as something I can touch, then I could, if I don't happen to have a mouse with me, I could just instantly put my finger on wherever I want to get the cursor to, and open and close windows and do all that sort, sort of thing, so we'll see how that works out. All right, well, this is the end of my video for now, and and I don't know how it turned out, but we'll see. All right, see you.